Let's take a drag, honey. Alright, I'm starting out with Veda Power. I'm gonna get it done. Okay, let's get it going. Hello, is this Crystal? No. Crystal, it's Sue. I'm wanting to let you know that you're banned. No. Yeah, you are, Crystal. I wasn't born yesterday, honey. Second shifter, but make it your whole personality. Oh my god. Janie, 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 you're up. Hello? Hey, hey, Craig, how are you doing? I'm good. Um, this is Sue. I work for the CEO of TikTok, and I'm just calling you to see if you'd be interested in a special call with me about best practices and analytics for your TikTok. We only choose people that we really believe in to call you a huge honor. Um, why is your area code 615? That's where I live, honey. We have people all over the U.S. Um, that okay. works for TikTok, <laughs> yes. I'm a local in Tennessee, from one okay. Tennessee into another, you know. Oh, right, right, right. But that, you, you have to understand why it threw me off. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> yeah, I don't, most of us don't use our personal number, but I do. Because I like to get real with you, you know. And you, Yeah, I, I guess if something could be sent through the app, like what normally would be sent, I'd, I'd be interested. I, I can arrange that, you know. We just were afraid it's going to get bogged down in the DMs is what we're trying sure. to avoid. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we've been finding that um, fart-related videos are doing very well on TikTok, and so are videos that showcase the sagging titties. So I would incorporate something like that, because the algorithm eats that shit up with a cracker, honey. Uh, okay, yeah, that, I'm sure that doesn't go on there very much. All right, well, you have a good one. You too, baby. You call me anytime you got any questions. Oh, he said no more. He was a TikToker. Okay, Simon. Thank you, David. Brian, oh, shut the hell up, you stupid. Like, someone just answered, honey. I don't mean to call you stupid, but that's a stupid Hello. comment. Hey, honey. Is, uh, is this Mrs. Becky? Yes. Hi. Um, I'm just calling to make sure y'all are settling in. You love birds into the new, uh, into the new cabin you're staying at. That's my establishment. I just wanted to make sure that everything is going okay. Okay. I think you might have the wrong number. This ain't, um... Are you crying? And I was just, I was, I was fumbled because this, this is Becky, right? Yeah. How is the room going? Did, do we need to bring anything up? I, I don't know. I've got the right number. Well, I don't know if you really need to bring anything up. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it.
bring anything up where? To the room, honey. Aren't you guys staying at the hotel? Gatlinburg, my hotel. <laughs> no. Y'all aren't there? Not anymore. We were. I didn't know y'all checked out. Oh, yeah. We checked out a couple weeks ago. Well, how was it? Do what? How was it? <laughs> oh, it was great. You should have come. Well, I, I'm working hard, honey. I, I can't come on your honeymoon, but did you did you get a raw dog in it? <laughs> I did. <laughs> that's, that's all we like to hear. If it's comfortable enough for that to happen, it's comfortable enough. Oh, yeah, it was great. You should have come. I mean, three is fun to, to deal with, that's for sure, but didn't want to intrude on your newlywed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we had a really good time, but it would have been more fun if you were there. I agree, honey. I'll keep that in mind. Y'all come back for your anniversary, and I'll have to make a little visit. All right. Thanks for calling. Bye, honey. All right, bye. Ooh, look. Scroll out of the live and come back, and it should be fine. I can't do anything about it. I hear you. I'm lagging. Okay. Y'all. God. Hey, honey, this is Sue Dillon. I'm trying to get in touch with a man named Victor. Yes? Hi, Victor. Um, I'm just letting you know that we have selected you each of your name for the raffle of uh, your supply of the Copenhagen Wintergreen Long Cut Chewing Tobacco. Oh, yeah, my daughter said she signed me up for that. Yep, we drew your name, honey. It's your lucky day. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. So, when will you come by the store to pick it up? Where's the store at? Um, it's the Love's Gas Station. Bruh. Uh, at the Love's Gas Station? Yes. In Madison? Yes, yeah, Sammy, I'm working today. And if you stop by, I can give you an extra surprise for $5. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll stop up tomorrow. Okay, I'll be here tomorrow, too. You let me know what you work, honey. Okay, thank you. Okay, baby. Okay, baby, bye. Okay. You gotta tell that man, I don't know if he believes it or not, but tell him he didn't win. Tandy Lynn. Thank you, <clears throat> thank you, Deb Sue. Thank you, honey. I had my headshots taken today, and they did my makeup. I never do it this well. Your call has been for. Thank you, Deb Sue. Thank you, honey. Y'all are gassing me up.
been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hi, honey. Um, I'm in a throuple with Tandy and her husband, and they told me I should call you because you're a personal trainer. And, you know, after Cinco de Mayo is over, I'm getting back to my roots of health. I'm going to have a picture of Mark's tonight, and that's it. And I'm going to cut it off. But I was wondering if we could work out together. I'm working on my COPD and my kegels and such. And I could really use someone to help me out with my FUPA. Thank you for considering. If you want me to do a call for you, um, I will open up some gift goals for calls because my show is not full. But you can next Sunday, or you can order a call with a video that will be done this week. If I get any bitch-ass emails saying that you want your money back, you can suck my chode, honey. I will not give you your money back because you can't read. I am so annoyed with people. I need a break. The amount of bullshit that I read every day is exhausting. It is, because you can't use your two good eyes that the Lord gave you and read the, the damn description. So read the mother effing description before you come at me, Karen. You make me want to quit doing this shit. You suck the damn fun out of it. And don't ask me to text you when I'm starting the live show so you won't miss your call. You are, the ego is strong. The ego is way too strong with you. Why the hell would I text you of 30-something people that ordered a damn call? You get it twisted, honey. I, I can't understand. It's so annoying. It's like the expectations are up here. And I am down here, okay? This is, the, I'm just an old lady doing prank calls. This ain't a five-star restaurant. Anyway, I'm actually pissed. I'm actually, I'm actually pissed. Okay, Stephanie. losing my damn mind. What happened is I am burnt the out of dealing with bullshit over prank calls. I'm actually like, it makes me have rage. Like, I'm like, over this shit. It's stupid. Why do we read our numbers in our voicemail? I know I'm calling 585. It it makes me not be able to prank people on live when you read your voicemail number out. How selfish of you. Thank you for the galaxy, honey. Thank you. Bruh. Hello? It's about time <clears throat> that you picked up the damn phone, Barbara. Who is this? 
This is Sue. I'm sorry for coming off a bit pushy. I'm just down bad looking for somewhere to rent, and I know you got an apartment upstairs. I'm sorry? I know you got an apartment for rent, and you're upstairs. Well, well, you Who are you? My name is Sue. I was told you got a damn apartment, honey. I'm tweaking out bad for apartments. By who? By myself. No, who told you I had an apartment? Paul. Who? Paul. You? Paul did. What's your name again? Sue. And I know Sue? he's gay, so we can stay together. We're not going to be doing nothing weird. You don't care if I sleep with him up there. I don't know who the fuck this is. Bye. I can pay you good. Taylor. Yes, honey, I still do subscriber calls. I'm doing them right now. There's a bit of a way with subscriber calls sometimes, um, but you can get in usually within the month. It's it, it's getting better, it is. Um, okay, Taylor. I was mean to her, so she had every right to be rude. <laughs> okay. Honey, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm wonderful now that I'm speaking with you, Chris. Okay. Um, I've been trying to get in touch with you for quite some time. Okay. How are you? Well, I just wanted to let you know that them dogs of yours have been shitting in my front yard, and I don't appreciate it at all. I think it's very irresponsible for a and it shouldn't be happening, especially with a handsome man like you. Well, they have to go somewhere. Yeah, but not in my front yard, honey. They can go in your yard. Well, I don't have a yard for me to um, let them go in. Maybe you can get some of that fake grass and put it out for them because they aren't welcome. They don't, their assholes don't need to be opening up in my front yard. And, and, you know, I cannot force my dog to go anywhere else. And, you know, it's... Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, put it on a leash, honey. I don't want it in my yard. Well, ma'am, it's not really in the back of your yard. It's right in front of the, it's in front of the house. It's yes, right. it's in my yard. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am, but I, you know, it's, I cannot tell my dog where to go and where not to go. Yes, you can, honey. You're the master. You're the man. Well, yes, I understand that, but when I, uh... And if well, anything, get a Save-A-Lot bag and pick up the shit. Well, man, I don't pick up the doo-doo, um... That's the issue. That's an issue? Yes. How can that be an issue? If you, I mean... If... How could it not? I've been stepping in dog shit and ruining my shoes. But, it, but it's not my because dog. Because you don't man. pick up the shit. Well, it's not my dog shit. It could be somebody else's. It dog is yours. Shit. You mine. just told me it's yours. Well, well, how can they prove it? They cannot I, I've it. already gotten a sample of it. I'm going to get it DNA tested and it's going to come back to the same breed as yours. Oh, I, uh, I beg to differ, ma'am. I don't beg to differ. I just expect more from a man of your social status. Well, I appreciate that, but I can't stop my dog from you know, squeezing the poop out of his... You, you know, can't, but you can eyes. control it's what your hands do, and your hands can pick up the shit. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Maybe next time I'll grab a bag and, and get some tissues when I'm at it. Amen. Know? Amen. Thank you. Okay, well, the next time, you know, when they squat down, that I put the bag under their asses and hope they dump it inside That's that. That's your business. I don't care how you pick it up. Just pick it up. Well, that, that may be like, how about if I just put it in front of your door? Okay, well, that's a little much. It's already in my front yard. Why would you go to the lengths of putting it in my front door if you're going to pick it up anyway? That's a little mean. Oh, uh, well, maybe. I just, I've always, Chris, listen, I've always thought you're really sexy, but this yeah. is just something I could never live with if we ever had the privilege of getting together. Uh, man, that's going to be my loss then. It Jesus is. Christ. It is your loss because you wish you could have these titties in your life, and you could if you'd pick up the dog shit. 
Okay, I'll think about that next time I go by. A, you know, maybe when I go by, by your house, which I don't know what house you live in, but, you know. Thank how you. Do you. How do you get my number anyway? I got it from a piece of mail in your mailbox that I returned. I wasn't trying to steal it or anything, so it's not a federal offense. Okay. Did you open my mail? I didn't. I just peeked in it with a flashlight. I didn't open it. Everything's sealed. Okay. Well, the next time I, you know, I come across your house, which I don't know which one it is, at least you can open the door and say hi to me, at least. I will come by and say hello to you for sure. Appreciate that. Well, like I said, ma'am, I just wish, uh, I'm sorry about my dog shitting on your lawn. Thank you, Chris, for apologizing, and I sincerely accept it. Okay, so, well, I hope you have a great night. I hope you do, too. I, I, I will, I'll keep an eye on my dog to make sure they don't go in anybody's yard this time. Okay, honey, I love you. I love you, too. Bye. I have another boyfriend. He loves me. He already said he loves me. Vows. Thank you, Heather. Okay, we're calling Tokyo. <laughs> Wait, what is the Tokyo country code? Thank you for the corgi ass, Gina. If you want me to do some calls on this live for gift goals, go ahead and help me meet the galaxy goal we got, baby. And also, get your member heart if you're in here and stop freeloading. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Tiffy. It's nice to see some people with morals in here. Let's try, Let's try again, right? Let's try again. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Linda. Uh. <clears throat> Can you reach out to Val Holly and, and ask what's going on with this? Because it says that I can't, the number can't be reached at this time, and I don't know why. The next one is for Valerie. Thank you, honey. Thank you, Mel, for your first gift. Wow.
Hello, may I speak with Chuck? <laughs> I'm just wondering if you're inhabiting your car because there's a lot of boxes in there, Chuck. <laughs> I did, sweet pea. I, like, uh, I like to be ready to go. I like to have my car packed with all the necessities. <laughs> I can tell. We were just gonna we were gonna write you a ticket because you aren't allowed to live in your car. <laughs> Did you hear about the microplastics, honey? Don't be letting that heat up and drink it. You're going to clog your arteries with the microplastics. You, 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 want, you want to heat up them jugs of water before you start drinking them. <laughs> yes. You're going, to, you're going to get it. You're going to have a heart attack because of the plastic, honey. Don't be too attracted to uh, all my preparations and things in the vehicle. It's <laughs> it's hard it's not to hard. be. It's hard not to be attracted to it, honey. It's sexy as hell. <laughs> wow, well, this made my night. I'll tell you that. Well, um, I, I, I hope you. I can tell. I Holy hope you shit. enjoy your 11:30 p.m. piss in the woods and walk with your dog. <laughs> Oh, and shirtless, I forgot to mention. Sure we'll keep some distance so they're not, not going to mess with the man dancing around, pissing in the, gr in the grass. In the no, they're not. You hope that there's no kids there. I know it's late at night, but... <laughs> I like to, you know, keep the neighborhood on our toes. Yes, baby. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good night, honey. Yeah, as you can tell, I like to have a good time. Oh, right? I can so... tell. I can say with you, it's like, very <laughs> obvious. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm going to get back to making this like, two-gallon pot of black beans here. And uh, <laughs> preparations. You uh, have to be prepped for the week. That's so, right, baby. Meal prep. Oh, man. Well, I sure appreciate this. You you keep rocking on. I think you're great. <laughs> you too, honey. You too. <laughs> what a sweetheart. Okay. <clears throat> We have almost met the Galaxy gift goal. We just need three more galaxies to unlock a gift goal so that one of you guys can get a prank goal on this live show. But we're going to begin with Cynthia Buttery. This is order number 1983. Oh, thank you, Kristen. Hi, this is Kaylee. Um, I did not get to the phone right now. So, and I probably won't later. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Kaylee, this is Sue. I'm just concerned with the amount of drinking you've been going through lately. Um, you need to be taking your studies more seriously, even on Cinco de Mayo. So I was just coming to counsel you on some habits you should establish to maintain your sobriety off of alcohol, okay? You don't want to end up like my husband Spanky. He's yellow. He looks like Kid Rock and, and Donald Trump. But Donald Trump makes himself look like that. So anyway, but you can call me back when you want to. Bye. <laughs> Okay, we just need two more galaxies to open up the gift goal for y'all fools. Okay, now we're doing 2128. Thank you, Shara.
Oh, thank you, Kristen. Hey. Is this Andrew? Yes. Hi, Andrew. I was so I was so excited that you picked up. I didn't think you would answer me. This is This is Sue. I am seeing Andrea. We have been going steady for about three months now, and she finally wanted me to come out and tell you we're just love is in the air. Oh, uh, I see. Yes. Are you with her right now? Uh, not right now. I'm alone. I wanted to make this call alone to you because I know y'all are best friends. Uh huh. So it's me, baby. It's me and her, and that's that's exciting. I'm happy for you both. I will uh, officiate your wedding. So just keep my number. Yeah, I uh, hope I hope we can hang out soon. You know the honeymoon phase is rampant and running and raw. Man, I've never been this raw. My lips are chafed. Up at top and below, and mm -hmm. they are. What'd you say your name was again? My name is Sue. Sue. Yes, it's Sue. Susan, Sue for short. Are you? Are you uh, what? What gender do you identify as, Sue? I'm a woman, honey. Okay. Yeah, I was born a woman. Yeah, with the groins and with the mentality. She had, she's experimented with it. We met on Grinder. Oh yeah. Yes, and we we're really hitting it off. You know, I never thought I could find some find love this late in life. Yeah. Well, you're an inspiration to us all. So. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Well, tell her I said hello, and I hope you guys are doing great. And I'm gonna go eat dinner now, but it's nice to meet you. I'm gonna eat something too. It's nice to meet you. Alright. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, yay, we met the gift girl. Thank you, Diane. Okay. If you want to. I'm back, honey. <laughs> you gotta burn the head to get rid of me. <laughs> but y'all just don't even know that I am Sue Mother Ethan. Dylan. I do not prefer the Insta fans, per se. I love my TikTok fans. I prefer the Instagram being free from trolls. Okay, don't twist my words. Okay, let me start. That's what I was in the middle of when I was so rudely removed. All right, here's the tea. I'm sitting five Lee on the Kitten goals. Five Lee on the Kittens, if you give me a Lee on the Kitten, you get a call, okay? But only five people. I gotta go slow, because I can't do too many, okay? So if you send me a Lee on the Kitten, I'll friend you, and you'll DM me the call. I'm taking five calls with five Lee on the Kittens. Does that make sense? Or is it confusing? Only five. Yes, once the five are filled up, we ain't taking no more Leon the kittens. So thank you. 
Okay, let's get back to it. <laughs> All right, now we're doing 2160. Wait, no, we're not. They're submitting a new prank. They said to hold off, so we're waiting on them. 2168. And if y'all didn't know, if you want some merch, it's 15% off with code SUE today. It's on my link tree, honey. Your call has been forwarded to... Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Emily. Right, Jamie. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right, Connor. I just wanted to key you in on some information uh, that I've been noticing about you. All right. I just see you driving that 18 wheeler way too fast down this road, and you're going to break the back of my wiener dog one day if you're not careful because it likes to piss and shit by the road. I would appreciate it if you would just slow down. Who is this? My name is Sue. Sue. It's Sue Dillon. He hung up on me. We got banana, honey, but we're back and I didn't do any calls, so you didn't miss anything. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight. One more time. All right, I'm gonna leave a message. Okay. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hello, Connor. We got disconnected. I'm I'm sure it's because you're feeling rather guilty about how fast you've been driving, and it's okay. We can all be redeemed, especially with the love of the Lord, which I give because I receive. Have a blessed day. Two one sixty nine. If you want me to do a, a prank call for you on this live, send a Leon the kitten. We're taking five. Hello. Hello. May I speak to Chad? Hi, Chad. Uh, I live in Elm Elmfield. Okay. And I have noticed that you have a black and white small dog that's been wandering into my yard and leaving me special treats that I don't appreciate. Uh, what kind of, his name is Tiger? Yeah, uh, I guess. What kind of treats? Yeah, shit. <laughs> Piles of shit. <laughs> really? Yes. 
That's perfect. Um, that's fine. We, we gotta uh, teach them young, what, you know. What street do you live on? I can text you the right, the name of my road. That's fine. That's fine. So if you don't mind me doing that, and do you mind if I take a shit too while I'm there? That's very cheeky of you to offer, but hell no. Why? Because Why? I have I have grandchildren in here, and they will see you, and they will see your airy asshole, and I don't think that's a good idea. Well. You've never seen my asshole, so... And I don't want to, honey. Sound like you do? No, I don't. I, I never gave you an inkling of my desire, honey. I'm a lesbian. I saw when you was passing by my house. Y'all saw the way you looked at me. I'm a lesbian. Well, me too. Okay, just pick up oh, the shit. We'll get the shit picked up. Thank you. Thank you. Robin. This one's too one eight two. Voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, Rhonda, it's Sue. I live on, on Arnoldville Road as well. And, um, shit, I messed this up. Hold on, let's wait for it to restart. I effed it up. Thank you, Emily. It just hung up. I don't know. It, it, usually it says if you would like to re-record your message, press 1. Let's try again. I did press down and it didn't do anything. Hello? Hey, Rhonda. It's Sue. 
for Mint and Meche Drive, Meche Road, honey. It's me, and I'm wondering if you would be interested in swinging. I'm, I've had a few, honey. It's the Cinco de Mayo. Who is that? I'm a neighbor. No. They, they got rid of that, honey. I ain't off that app. <laughs> well, I was just wondering if you'd want to swing with me, honey. That's all. <laughs> oh, I can't. Who is this? Why is she calling here? I wanted you to be a swinger, honey. <laughs> well, that's Rhonda's pass. That's not mine. I'm, I'm uh, a godly woman. <laughs> well, I'm a godly woman, too, and the God, God tells us to share. <laughs> Yes, love one another. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> what you doing today? I've just been pissing and farting around, honey. Oh, well, that's good. That's what we do. I'm just sitting here farting around watching a western. Oh, I love old westerns. Old. Two old lesbians and a West western, ain't it? Yeah. I love <laughs> westerns, and I left you a really weird voicemail, so I apologize. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Bye, honey. <laughs> Okay, this one is 2184 for Sean. Hello, may I speak with Greg? Who's this? This is Sue. Sue? Yes, I'm a neighbor of yours, and I just needed to speak with you about how you're handling your pit bull. Okay. And the fact that you let it defecate in my yard is not okay. Honey, it's been getting out somehow and taking shits in my backyard. Who is this? I'm a neighbor of yours. My name is Sue. Never officially introduced myself, but hello. It's nice to meet you. I wish we could have met under different okay, circumstances. It's nice to meet you too, but I promise you she's not getting out. She's always in our supervision. Greg, why would I make this up? She has been shitting in my yard. I know she has. All right. My name is Sue. I'm telling you the truth. Do I need to send you a picture of my driver's license? Yeah, text it to me right now. Absolutely, but I have a flip phone, so I have to hang up the call. Okay. All right, you'll see in a second. Okay. Somebody laughing like a hyena in the background. All right, let's send him Sue's just crashed and calling a day. If you want me to do a call on this live, I made a gift call with Leon the Kitten, but yes, you can book as Holly Rob has pinned um, on my link tree with a call with a video. I'm probably going to do some on Tuesday, so. And you can also pre-book for next Sunday. But here, if you want one now, we got five spots for a Leon the Kitten call. So send a Leon the Kitten and you get a call. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Mel Britt.
Tiffany. How you reached Tiffany, please? Tiffany, go ahead and DM me your request. Joey Pierce, calm the F down. You are first if you pre-books. I'm doing the pre-books right now. I'm accepting five Leon the Kittens. Is that all right with you? Hi, you've reached Cindy. Please leave your name and number. I'll call you back as soon as possible. Hi, honey. This is Sue. Um, I'm calling because I'm working for Maverick as HR. And I've just, we've gotten a lot of complaints about you leaving the bathroom in a mess. Um, we just wanted to make sure that you're doing okay, and if you need to take some time off, that's fine to get your bowels in check. Just let me know. It's none of your damn business, Joey Pierce, honestly. It makes me not even want to do your call. Y'all don't own the shit out of me. I can do whatever the hell I want to do. I'm a grown-ass woman. If I want to take a Leon the Kitten call before I do yours, I can. You don't tell me what to do, honey. That's not how this shit works. Y'all need to learn your place. You don't tell me what to do ever. It's so annoying. Thank you, honey, for the galaxy. I'm pissed off, actually, because this has been happening a lot over the past 24 hours. Not just Joey Pierce, but a lot of assholes on here telling me what to do. Why? All right, now this one is for Karen.
Hi, honey. Uh, I'm trying to get in touch with Mitch. Yeah, this is him. I just wanted to congratulate you on your new child. Oh, thank you. Yes. How is it doing? Good. Doing good. That's excellent to hear. I wanted to come by and hold it, but I didn't. I didn't want to intrude. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't even have this number saved. To be honest with you. Oh, I, you probably don't remember me, but I'm like your fourth cousin. Okay. Um, um, but I would love to stop by. If you're open to it, I could bring some diapers. What size are they in? Are you, what's, what's, are you calling this? What? Oh, I'm sorry. What's, what's your name? My name is Sue. Sue? Yes, it's Sue Dillon. Sue Dillon? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I... I used to wipe your ass when you were a baby. You really don't remember me? No, I, I mean, I, well, I got in a bad, I got in a bad accident. I, uh, hit my head pretty hard, so... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I didn't realize that, honey. Yeah, no, so... Yeah, I've um, just been, I've not been doing much lately, you know. I just got out of prison. Okay. But I, it wasn't for anything crazy. It was just, I stole a bunch of steaks from Walmart. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess just give me a, give me a call then, or, yeah. I will. Um, I hope that your loving life is a newborn child, honey. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I wonder if it's got that little mole on its left cheek like you used to have. Right, right. Anyway. Alright, well, it was nice talking to you. Nice talking and, to uh, you too, sweet pea. I'm glad, I'm glad everything's going good for you too. Thank you, honey. I'm just on the pod. I'm about to wipe my ass, so I'm going to get off here. All right. I'll see you. We'll bring you some steak when I come by. Another Leon the Kitten. Go ahead and DM me your request, uh, Tiffany. Was it Tiffany or Yizzo? Is it Yizzo and Tiffany. Daniel. I'm going to get to y'all in a second. I got to get through Joey. Choke hold on me. I can't do any of the other calls until I get done with the pre-booked ones. Just FYI. Is that good, Joey? Are you happy now? I'm not actually mad at Joey. I'm mad because of so many effing Karens. And I'm, I do think it was a little much, Joey, for me to call you out like that. But I am mad. I really am. Joseph Tyler Pierce. Brooke. Hey, Spanky. Spanky. Hi, this is Lisa. Spanky. He's going deaf. He really is. Spanky! Hang on. Spanky. Is, what is Pierce's full name? Pierce? Yeah. Kyle Pierce. Okay, it's not him. I thought that you were his co-worker. That's a different Pierce. Who's Joseph Tyler Pierce. That's good that it's not your co-worker, because I was fighting with him. You've been feisty today. I'm, I'm very prickly today. You got feisty with me. I didn't. When did I get feisty with you? I'll tell him in a minute. Just go ahead. You were like, thank you for cooking dinner. And I was like, yeah, I'm just happy to take something off your plate. And you're like, first of all, it's not my job to cook dinner around here. I was like, you just prefer cooking dinner. Oh. And you were like, you just assumed that because I'm a woman. And I was like, okay, stop. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. 
<laughs> I forgot about that fight. Yeah. He did. He said, I'm so happy to take something off your plate. I'm trying to help out. I, I know said, you don't like me to cook. You're you're you are tripping if you think that it's my responsibility to cook the damn dinner. I don't think that you didn't take anything off my plate. You just did something that's expected of you. I said, do not ever insinuate that it is my job to cook the food. Let's see what the people think. Because you do all the cooking around here. You want to do all the cooking. I don't. I don't have time for it sometimes. I've been out all day doing shit. I have too. Yeah, you went to work and I, that is a lot. I did too, though. I, my work is different than yours. I know. I never said it wasn't. Spanky's about to be in the I would rather tomorrow. do the job that I do, but it is still energy sucking. I never said it wasn't. They're saying that I'm right. I don't think that you meant it the way that I took it, though. I will, I will give you that. Okay. Thank you. Am I manic? Am I manic? Because I am irritable as hell. Oh, the white pills or the sugar pills. No, honey. I am on birth control, and it does. I think that is why I trip balls and get so angry. It's Hi, this is Lisa. I'm unable to answer the phone at this time. Please leave a message. Thank you. Hey, Lisa. This is Sue. Um, I'm just calling to let you know that I've been sleeping in your gear blind. That's why I called you so many times. But your husband and your dogs are very loud, and they've been coming at me a lot. Um, the man with the tall gray hair and the glasses, the, the dog is the golden doodle, as I'm assuming that's yours. All I hear is him yelling, Sam! 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 Over and over, honey, it wakes me up. <clears throat> Can you just tell him to keep it down? What I think it is, I don't know, is that I'm just batshit crazy. And my mother acted like this when she was in her 20s, I remember. He didn't say I wasn't right. He didn't say I wasn't right. All right, now we're doing two one nine two, Jamie, and then I'm not, I'm not. I didn't forget about the Lee, Lee on the kittens. Okay. Good. How can I help you? I'm good. Uh, I just wanted to know for science, could I come take a look at your nipples? Who is this? My name is Sue. Sue. Yes, and I'm doing a study on nipples, and um, the fact that you have five, I have never met with met anyone with more than three, and I would love... Oh, I don't have five nipples. I only have two. I thought that you had five. Somebody told me you had five when they referred you to me. Who is this? My name is Sue. I'm a scientist. Okay. Okay. And where'd you get my number from? Um, one of your relatives told me that you had five nipples and they gave me your number. Because I'm working out of a hospital and they, yeah, we're looking for people. We're trying to figure out what the cause is. We think that it might be. If you come across someone with that many, you have my number. Yeah, I'll be, I will call you first. Bruh. Thank you, I'm sorry, I'm I'm getting some gas from dinner. You're good. 
All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Spanky, get your ass back in here. To cook pasta. How you F it up every time. Uh, it's only been twice. And, yeah, I bet you cook baked ziti and it takes... I don't know what else to say. I salted the meat and the sauce was already salted. You don't salt ground beef. I didn't salt the beef, I should say. I salted whenever it was with the sauce and everything. But you... Okay, the pre-made sauce had... It had salt. salt. So I don't... It. it was too salty. Yeah. But tell them about the first time you cooked. The first time the meat didn't get cooked all the way. Tell them the whole story. I Tell them, cooked, start them from the beginning. I and cooked spaghetti, and I was cooking the sauce, and I didn't cook the meat all the way, and then I put everything else in it, and it didn't cook, and I served it, and I ate a lot of it. And, he ate a whole plate of it. And you informed me that it was undercooked, and I threw the dish back on the pan to cook it, and you became upset, and then I threw it away. <laughs> it was pink. It was slightly pink. It That's was true. pink. It was like medium. And I said, I just wasn't mean about it. I was like, I just cannot it was, eat this. It was very respectful. I said, I just can't eat this. I found it respectful. And I was going to the trash can to throw it away. And he took it from my hands and threw it. No, you said to put it back on. It didn't take anything. I, yeah, the post. Back on. I said, just turn the meat sauce back on and cook it through. He took, but the meat sauce was gone because he had already made himself a second plate of spaghetti. I didn't realize overall spaghetti. He threw it in the frying pan. Ugh. My whole noodles and everything. Did you see that? That's what he did. I said, we can't fry this. It's just not going to work, honey. Thank you, Julie. I've made a few mistakes in my life. No, he tried, and I told I was nice about it. But now we can laugh. The spaghetti was only super salty in certain spots. I don't salt my ground beef when I cook spaghetti because I use pre-made sauce, and that shit's got a lot of sodium in it. And he always loves the taste of my spaghetti. At least he tells me he does. I didn't mention that the spaghetti was too salty. He is the one I was like, it was that so brought salty. it up. But it was. But I ate it anyway. Because I appreciate it. Because you took the burden of me as the woman cooking off. I didn't say it like night. that. I just said I was... Because you usually cook in this house. And I said I was happy to not have you cook tonight because I knew you were busy. That was it. It's not because you're a woman. It's because you always do it. <laughs> Someone said... <laughs> free... <coughs> free spanky. Yeah. I love you. I really do. And you I, do a good I, job. I love you too. Thank you. Come here. Come into the frame. It's my... Th come down. Come let rest on my bosom. No. Don't do that. I don't want my ear licked. I love you, honey. I love you too. Thank you for your love. I'm going to go make my overnight oats. All right. Come on, boys. Blow this popsicle stand. They obeyed me. I'm getting really confused. All right, Devin Gray.
Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hi, honey, it's me again. I see you're screening my calls like you did last time. Uh, I live in Philcrest, and I'm really getting angry that you haven't sprayed your mailbox down because my dog loves to go on the mailbox, but somebody has been letting their dog piss on the mailbox, and I just need you to spray it down so that my dog will go to the bathroom in a timely manner. I've been late for work, and it's your damn fault. All right, now we're doing 2198. Thank you. <clears throat> Your call has been forwarded to... Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Thank you, Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Well, shit. Oh, thank you, Rick. That's beautiful. Thank you, Matthew. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, honey, it's Sue. I'm trying to get in touch with Carrie. I'm a neighbor of yours, and I just wanted to bring you to your attention that you're... Booth, I, or is it your husband or your boyfriend? I'm not sure, but Andrew is his name. I've spoke with him before. He has been letting them two dogs of yours shit and piss in my yard. They do not need to cross the property line anymore. He was arguing with me about what's my side and what's his, and he's got it twisted. I don't appreciate this whatsoever. Please call me back when you can. If people don't answer tonight, it ain't a big deal because people might call me back. And on Fridays, I check my voicemail and call them back, and I get some good calls. So it's okay. It's not over yet if I got a voicemail. All right, 2199. This is for Joseph Tyler Pierce. I gotta say something else, Joseph Tyler Pierce, because I can't say the D word on here. I'll get bananaed, but I got a good one I can say. Your call has been forwarded. He texted the person already?
em tìm phong It's because you were being a Karen, Joey. It's karmic forces. message joey it's not over yet okay we might get her to call back it's not the end of the world joey please record your message when you've finished recording you may hang up or press one for more options hi denise my name is sue i got your ups delivery i didn't know it was yours until i got into the package it's it's like a um at home nipple piercing kit and it comes with dry eyes to numb it with um i don't know what you want me to do because the dry ice is open now so it's gonna get ruined if i don't get it to you so just call me back when you can um there's also something else it's like edible underwear and some numbing cream and some nipple tassels for after you pierce so just let me know when you want me to bring it by or if you want to come by and get it. I'm going to be in the middle of something tonight. It's Spanky just got his new prescription of Viagra, so, but uh, maybe tomorrow. Two two zero zero. I haven't heard from Devin yet. Thank you for the corgi ass, Annie. Or no, I did get a voicemail, or did I not? Hell, I don't know. Hey, may I speak with Shannon? Hello. Hi, Shannon. Hello. Shannon. Shannon, no, it's me. I'm Sue. I'm not a... I'm not a robot! You screwed my call. to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. I just wanted to let you know that I can... I'm, I'm not a robot, first off. I'm not a damn robot. Second off, that big cat that sits in the front of window of your house. My cat. That thing is evil. It mugs us all the time. Evil mug. I mug and it's, it scares my grandchildren to the point where they don't even want to go outside and walk no more. That thing is scary. You need to do something with that or close the drapes on. Put in for a call on my link tree on my profile, honey. If you want one done right now, go ahead and send a Leon the Kitten. I've got two more pre-booked calls and I'm going to do Leon the Kitten. All right, this one is for Cheyenne.
has been forward. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Who's this? This is Sue. Uh, Marie gave me your number. Marie? Yes, I don't know her last name. Okay. But, um, I was, she tells me that there's a salon below where she used to live that you're running, and I was wanting to see about booking an appointment with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have <laughs> I know I used to live there, but I've moved recently, and I'm looking for someone to do my. I know, honey. We don't like spam calls here either. They're just so annoying. I just wanted to know if you do waxing as well. That and the groin. I'm not really wanting the bush whacked. I just want you to shape it for me if you're down there and you get the bikini line. Um, we don't do that. I mean, I could send you to an esthetician that does do that. I have a couple of them. Okay, I was hoping you could do it all. Because I like, I, you know, I used to see a woman that did it all. And she said she would try to match <clears throat> my bush to my perm. And that's what I was hoping for. But I get it. Maybe yeah, I could show you a picture of it. Salon, but she has left and opened her own in her house. Yeah, I, in the yeah. state of New Hampshire, unless you're an esthetician and a hairdresser, you can't do those. Like oh, the facial wax. Oh, yeah, different, yeah, yeah. Different places have different laws. Yeah, I just don't really want it waxed. I just want it trimmed, like yeah. it gets split ends and stuff. So. Yeah. Um. Well, I can have you call the salon if you want to make an appointment to get your hair done. Okay. May I, may I ask you if you're a, a part of the swingers community out here? I just met with someone named Nigel, and he said that he is, and I didn't know he knew much about it because I don't want to get scammed. Hello. Hello. Yes, did you hear me okay, honey? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe you need to call a different salon. Well, I didn't know if you knew anything about the swingers community. I'm sorry if I offended you. <laughs> she said, nope. Thank you for the hand heart, honey. Okay. I'm not doing 2206 today. I'm doing it during this next week. I will email you if you continue to harass the chat and bombard me during my Sundays with Sue live show. I'll cancel your call and you will not get a refund and you can kiss my ass. You don't own me. There's people in front of you. Stop being an asshole. Okay, now we're doing Michelle's. Hello. Hello, may I speak with Joyce? My name is Sue Dillon. 
there's just a man that's been living in your house that's been coming over and shitting in my yard. What? I know it's a lot to take in, but this has been happening. You're crazier than hell. There is nothing no happening from my house. He has missing teeth, and then he comes wandering from your yard and comes to mine and takes a dump and then leaves. Have you not seen him? When did this happen? It happens almost nightly. Where do you live? I live across the street from you. No, you don't. It's a dirt road, honey, and I do live out here. What, what's the street? I don't feel comfortable telling you because you seem yeah, right, suspicious. Because you're wrong. You seem suspicious, ma'am. I'm just wondering if you have had this happen to you, if you know this man. Because he seems like he's coming from your house. I know you're still here. I can hear the phone. I know you're there, honey. I just need to help find out who's shitting in the neighborhood. I bet you're talking to him right now, aren't you? Okay, let's do the Leon the Kitten calls. <sighs> Tiffany, you're first, honey. Thank you for being patient. Hello, is this Raphael? Yes. Hi, Raphael. How are you doing, honey? Good. Happy Cinco de Mayo. You gonna get turned up tonight? Maybe. Well, I was wondering if you and Tiffany would be interested in sleeping with uh, me and my husband Spanky. We're wanting to swing with you all. Are you having a party? Are you having a party and you didn't even invite me? Man. Okay, what are you doing tonight, Raphael? Hey, I'm partying, man. What else do you do when you're brown? Well, I want to swing with you and your wife, Tiffany, if that's okay. I don't know if y'all would want to get together. I could take us out to the Long John Silvers and get us a nice meal. We can talk a little bit more about it. I don't know, man. I'm having too much of a good time, you know? I know, honey, but you, you got my number, so we need to get together. I think we would be a good match. Oh, I think so, too. I'll give you a call, back. How about that? Okay, honey. All right. You have a good day. Bye, baby. I'll be thinking about you. Oh, I don't. I'm on. Oh, shit. I accidentally didn't mean to do that. I accidentally hung up. I thought my finger was on the side. Hello? 
I didn't mean to hang up on you. What is No, I didn't mean to hang up on you, baby. I didn't know my finger was on the end button. I have a flip phone, and this thing has a mind of its own. Oh, yeah, no, I That happens to me all the time as well. Yes, but I hope you have a very fantastic Cinco de Mayo. And when you and hey, Tiffany... Cinco de, cinco de Paco. Yes, baby. When you and all Tiffany right. want to get together, let me know. Yes, ma'am, I will. Bye, honey. All righty, have a good one. He sounds just so like a sweet man, Tiffany. Okay. We got one more. Daniel. All right. Thank you for being patient, Daniel. It is your turn. May I speak with Robbie? This is her. Honey, I'm a neighbor of yours, and your boxer dogs have been shitting in my yard, and I'm fed up with this shit. Uh, what? A, excuse me? I know I'm coming at you a little strong, but I've been doing dealing with this for I years. I hear you. Slow down. I'm sorry. I'll calm down. Your dogs have been shitting in my yard, and I'm fed up with it. Are you? Yes, I need you to pick up the shit and get their yipping asses back on your side of the road. Well, seeing how my dogs have an electric fence, they don't leave my yard. They must not give a shit about the shock, honey, because they do leave your yard and they come into mine. Who is this? My name is Sue Mother F and Dylan, honey, and I don't deal with this shit. <laughs> And where do you live? I live down the road from you. D where? Close enough. I don't need to tell you where I live. All you need to do is keep the dogs put up. I live on South Washington Street. Well, listen, I don't know how you got my number, lady. Okay, but you can go fuck off. And you know how your son, that? Daniel... You should be ashamed that you put off a yeah, spawn like I'm him. I'm sorry, but I don't know you. Goodbye. Well, I tell it like it is, so... <laughs> She's feisty, Daniel. Okay. Respectfully, I am getting off of this, and I'm not going to be back until Friday. Because for my system. But I can't deal with it at this point. And so, I am going to be back on Friday for Hollabacks. You can still order calls. I will do them in my private space. But, I will tell you to F off if I don't get off here. Um, and so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I need to do to get back to 100. You can still order calls on them and I will send you a video. But, um... I can't deal with the bullshit no more. Y'all are just out of your minds. The ones that want to tell me to do shit on a snap of a finger and they they don't read the fine print. Let me read it to you. Let me read it to you right now. <clears throat> if you order a call with a video, this is the description, okay? Let me find it. It says, you are booking a prank call with a video. Disclaimer, your call will be done during the week of 5-5-24. During the effing week. Not right now when you order it, asshole. Thank you, Tiffany. You are booking a prank call with a video. I call three times and leave a voicemail if the order is complete. It will be emailed as a Dropbox link. 
to the email you provide. By ordering this call, you are consenting for me to post it on social media. Any information that risks the privacy of the individual being pranked is removed. Do not order this if it is not okay with you. No exceptions. No refunds. And kiss my ass if you want me to make an exception for you. Do not email me asking shit that is written here. Because I will not be nice. I'm not even going to look at my email until the morning. Because I am pissed the hell off at everybody that emails me dumb shit. I'm at my damn wit's end. So, I will be back on Friday. You can order a call. If you don't like the description, don't order a call. Okay? I'm so sick of people demanding calls in the second they order it, acting like I have no life but doing your prank call. You are full of shit if you think that's what you deserve for $40. You're absolutely batshit crazy if you can't respect <coughs> the boundaries of what I have laid out. Then don't order it. I'm gonna get off here. But I hope y'all have a great night.